Hi everybody, it's Claire back with another art journal video. Today I am using the Colour Meditation deck by Lisa Solomon as a source of inspiration. Um, so Dina Wakely has recommended quite a few different decks and I came across this one um, and I don't know, it's really cool. Uh, it's got so many colourful ideas in there, things that you could use as a starter for a page. Um, but this one that I've pulled out with the leaves on really appealed to me and I'll tell you why. It appealed to me because um, I immediately thought about the stencil that Dina has made. I think is it called Tropical? Um, which <laughs> just is literally that that leaf that's on um, this card. So as you can see, I'm working in the small craft journal Um I know I've said this so many times, it is my favourite journal. I think one of the things that I really like about it is it, it isn't a, um, an overwhelmingly big size. So it's a small space to journal on and, and um, sometimes that's just all you need, just a little bit of space. So I think, you know, that whole blank page thing doesn't feel too much with this journal. Um, anyway, that's one of the reasons that I love it. So I am using some Dina Wakely uh, collage tissue paper just to stick that on the page first. And then it went had quite a lot of air bubbles in it. So I've just got an old gift card and I'm just um, smoothing it over with that, just pulling some of those air bubbles out of there. And you can see I'm being quite messy with the uh, matte medium. <laughs> it's gone everywhere in the lid. Um, and uh, just trying to scoop a bit of that up so I can stick the rest of this down. So I'm going to just be layering lots of different kinds of text collage paper onto my background um, because this, as the first layer, um, there might be bits of this peeping through on my page. So it was really funny, you know, using this deck as an inspiration. It's a great way to, um, to get started with a page because you can kind of take that initial idea and then run with it and just kind of see where you go. So once I've got that collage tissue paper down, then I've used evergreen, fur and sage. And I've done my little sort of smooshing technique where I put the colours next to each other, load my brush up and brush it straight onto the page. It's really effective. I love doing this as a, a technique. And then before it was dry, I'm using the pieces stencil which is also from Dina um, with a baby wipe and just removing some of that paint through the stencil so that bits of that text collage paper peep through. So this is a really great way to get some initial um, interest onto your page. So then I decided that I disappeared too much of the craft so I went in with the syrup um, paint and added some marks again using the same stencil onto the background. Then I've gone in with lime using this uh, circle stencil which is also from Dina Wakely. For some reason this is one I can never remember the name of but it's one of my favourite. It's called Spaced Dots. Um, I just love anything with circles on. I don't really know why. I just love circles. Okay so this is the Tropical Leaf Mask from that um, stencil and mask set and I'm going in here with white paint keeping it quite um, transparent because I want the I want the background to peep through a little bit and I'm just altering the way that the leaf is pointing um, so that they're not all pointing the same way although there isn't that much variation in the ones on the inspiration card. That really was just like a bit of a springboard for me to get started with my um, idea for this page. And obviously I could have done it the other way around and used the stencil instead of the mask. But this is such a great technique and I love doing this. Um, just creating a really nice background and then um, masking over it so that your shape peeps through. Um, and you do disappear quite a lot of the noise of the background too. So filling up the page, making sure that these images don't overlap so that they're very definitely separate leaves and they're not um, encroaching on each other's space. Yeah, so there you can see you're just going right into the corners and um, must be somebody at the front door. The dog is going crazy. Okay, so 
making sure as well that I haven't got too much paint on that blending tool because, I, like I say, I didn't want the white to be too, um, too dense, really. Okay, and then I decided that I would use a scribble sticks and I would just go in and add some little areas of um, different colours because uh, I noticed on the inspiration card um, there were some very bright yellows in there and oranges as well and some dark, dark greens. So I just thought I would kind of brighten some of those colours up. So using the scribble stick, I've laid pressed on really, really hard, laid down quite a lot of pigment and then I've just got an ordinary brush and I've just activated that pigment um, just to move it around a little bit on my page. So I'm using um, lemon here. So I'm just um, popping that on some of the leaves in some places, not everywhere. Because um, I just want to add a little bit more colour onto the leaves that are peeping through. And um, then I am using um, lime as well and just adding a little bit of that nice bright green on there too. I don't have all the sets of scribble sticks at the moment, but I think I probably will invest in them. It's some, probably a, um, one of my supplies that I don't really use enough and probably should use a bit more and explore what it can do. And then that's cheddar. So you can see that's just added a little bit more depth to those leaves, giving them a little bit, some areas of um, brightness and uh, where the colours are a little bit richer. So then I decided that I would add um, a craft coloured tropical leaf onto the page as well. So I've just got a piece of uh, scrap card stock that I've got left over, probably from when I've cut pages out of other journals. <laughs> and um, I'm just drawing through the stencil. So I'm going to cut this out and then this will go onto my page so you can just see that up at the top of the page there um top of the glass board i mean sorry <laughs> then i'm using an ordinary gel pen and i'm just outlining the uh, tropical leaves that are on the page i'm doing it in quite a sketchy way i'm not worrying too much about keeping it neat and tidy i often say this because um my pages are not neat and tidy and so if I then had really careful, neat, tidy lines, it just wouldn't it wouldn't work with it. And also it does give it that more kind of artsy, sketchy look, which is um, a look that I do like. So I've done that. And then, of course, my signature dots got to go in with those. <laughs> just got to I can't I have tried leaving pages without dots on. And I think if I don't do dots, I tend to do splatters. Um, it's just um a way of making that page feel a little bit more finished. So then I've just used a Posca pen and I'm just outlining this uh, tropical leaf that I've cut out of the craft cardstock as well. And um, just to help that stand out a little bit when it gets stuck onto my page. And then I am using a quote from Dina Wakeley's um, Ledger Papers. 
it doesn't seem to matter when it is. And whenever I've gone to those um, collage, no, sorry, ledger papers to look for a quote, I always manage to find the right one. There is so much choice on there that it is almost impossible to be disappointed. Um, so if you haven't got your hands on those yet, it might be worth checking out if you can acquire them for yourself. Um, you notice I'm using a fine applicator um, bottle. That's because I have discovered this new glue and it's well, it's not new, but it's new to me. It's called Collol, Collol spelled C-O-L-L-A-L-L. -L, and it's an all purpose glue. It's a clear glue um, and adding it through this um, fine applicator tip bottle. It's just like revolutionary. It means I don't have to faff about with a glue stick and getting glue all over everything. And using the little tweezers means I don't get it all over my hands. So and then because then I found if you get a bit of glue on your finger and you go to smooth something down, you end up putting a grubby finger mark on your work. So this is a technique that works really well for me. There we go. That is the finished page. So using this inspiration deck to get started, it was a a good way to create a fun page. So I hope you've enjoyed watching me do this. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.